What is up, guys? I hope you're all having a great day so far. Welcome back to my Let's Play of The Walking Dead. We are still on Episode 3, Long Road Ahead. And we just got this up and running. My name is Homebred Pac-Man. So, uh, we just got this bad boy running. Now we're going to check around a little bit. Oh, wait. Shit, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry. Nice job, homebred. You're fucking up already. Head back into the engine room. And we are going to see if this baby moves. It's all yours. Thanks. I've always wanted a train. Toot toot. Oh. Damn it. Of course. We're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. I can give it a shot. So, cab door. And let's get moving. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep them doggies rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Raw hide. Alright. Let's see, let's see. Let's go out here. Because I don't think I can... Oh yeah, that was all the sheet metal there. Oh. Shit. Broken. Well, that sucks. Let's... There's gotta be a better way to do this. Probably. Let's use the monkey wrench. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, Kenny, we're loose. Sweet. Wait, is that... Okay, that was just my eyes playing tricks on me. Alright. Don't you touch any of my stuff? Jesus! Who are you? I'm gonna fuck you up. I took the map of the train routes. That's fine, you can have that. Really? Yeah. I got them all right up here. <laughs> Okay. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Oh. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. Nice to meet you. Got your crew outside? Yeah. I believe so. And the guy up in the cab. He's one Him of us. Too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I couldn't force myself to do it. <laughs> it's still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. <laughs> Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. <laughs> well, he's pretty blunt, isn't he? I like him. And he's got a guitar. Hey, yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. <laughs> yeah. He gave us candy. Ben, too. Ben? Oh. You know it was wrong. That's why you got the guilt look. Yeah. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. <laughs> That's for sure. Wouldn't you have a love for the track since she... Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. Uh, let's hope. I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Well. <laughs> Just going along with it, huh? Ben? How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Well, that was rude. Uh, Katya, how are you guys doing? I better get back to it. What was the point of that? What was the point? Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Howdy. Why are you alone? Yeah. Why not? Seem to be doing alright. Fair enough. Fine, then. 
I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. <laughs> well, we are just a friendly bunch. Mm. We still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. Hmm. I think Clementine is now Some comfortable around something. Him. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Hope so. Oh. Chuck really is friendly. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No oh. funny aftertaste. No. Nothing odd? Train's cool, huh? <laughs> I guess. It's scary kinda. Of. <laughs> well, it's big and loud. Most kids are scared of big, loud things, but hey. So that's it. We're cut loose. You got Seems it. Seems that way. Yeah. Great. Uh. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. <laughs> Wait, that said, let's go. But I didn't hear him say it. Want to ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. <laughs> that's a yes, then. And find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that box car. <laughs> he he's got a point. Duck's sick. Get on yeah. the train, Clementine. He is. He is, sweetie. He's getting sicker. Oh. Let me look at him. He's starting to turn pale. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. Okay. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, Kent. Kenny. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Kenny, we can't keep ignoring this, man. <sighs> okay. Now then, as I was saying, I've always wanted to train. Toot toot! All right, we are rolling. Oh no! What's the matter, Chuck? Sad to be on the on the move. Oh no! <sighs> well, that's uh, that's a bit depressing. Hey, buddy. Need a hand? I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But honestly, could any of you resist that easy pun? Oh, jeez. You gotta be hard on you, eh? The adults taking care of the kids. No disrespect, son. <laughs> huh. Ben looks pissed. There were more of us. Dad, get him? No. No. We ah, did. Living got him. Yep. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? If you get that off his face, my hands are full here. Oh, no. Could you just get that off his face, please? Yeah, I got it, Katya. I got it. Oh man. He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Okay. I'm on it, Katya. I'm on it. Clem. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. Chuck? I'll get this train stopped right quick. Ben? Stopping the train. Stay put. Okay. Ben, what the fuck is your problem? Okay. So, let's get to it, shall we? 
It is kind of cool to be walking along on a moving train, I'll say that much. Kenny? You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody Come. knows shit. He'll be fine. Kenny. He won't be. He's going, Kenny. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. We're not quitting. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. No, Kenny, time is making it worse. This isn't about Doug. The hell it's not. You think we're pals and you know me? You're some elitist prick with a fancy education who could pick me apart? It's not like that. The fuck it isn't. It isn't. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. A bad thing happened to someone else's. Kenny, you can't blame there yourself ain't for no this. Way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. This is bad. Stop the train, man. This isn't karma, Kenny. This is just... <sighs> this is just... I, I don't even know what this is. But no way is this your fault. It sucks. It really does. I wish I could've got that walker before it bit him. I guess if anyone's to blame, it's me. Oh no. Again, it's... I think it's time. Oh no. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. I know, but still. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. <sighs> Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you Fuck. I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I'll I do love it. you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do I'll it. I'll do it. No, it should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and uh, just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. I know. I don't want to do it. Why don't we take him into the forest? So Clementine doesn't have to see. No parent should ever have to put their child yeah. in the ground. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Take your time. Do what you need to do, cat. Duck. Requiescat in parche. Requiescat in parche. And I apologize if I butchered that. So hangs a heavy heart. Duck is dying. 
Yeah. I know. I'm sorry, Clem. What are you doing? I'm gonna make sure it's just. I'm gonna make sure he's okay. Yeah. But how? He's bitten. By making sure he doesn't come back. Yeah. Oh. Look, Clem. Things are. What the? No! Ben, what take happened? Take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Don't tell me Duck turned. She didn't. She Why, Cat? Why? Oh, fucking God! <laughs> she couldn't deal with it. Oh my God! She couldn't do it. I. I. Caught you. She couldn't deal with it. She couldn't. What do we do? We gotta take care of him. Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. You don't need to do this, Kenny. You don't. To those of you who believe you could survive the zombie apocalypse and be a badass about it, please take a look at this. Take a look at this scene right here and tell me, would you have been able to pull that trigger? Not in a game, not in a hypothetical. Ask yourself that question. If you truly were put in that situation, if you truly were, do you think you would have been able to do that? Kill your kid or the kid of one of your closest friends? Katya? Duck? Risk. Requiescat in parche. And farewell. <sighs> well, as much as that sucks, I'm gonna end it on that one, unfortunately. So, guys, uh. Sorry to end it on a bummer like that, but. Uh, feel free to, you know what, you don't even have to like and fave for this one, but feel free to comment in the comment section below, and if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I'd appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you next time around. This is Homebred Pac-Man, signing off.